Hey everyone, John here, and we have another restaurant review here at the Walt Disney World Resort. This time, we're going to be reviewing Space 220 at Epcot. Now, this restaurant is designed to give guests the experience of dining in space with immersive decor and simulated views of Earth from a space station. Now, the reason why it's called Space 220 it's themed around the idea of a space station that is located 220 miles above the Earth's surface. Now, the concept is to provide guests with a unique and futuristic dining experience. It's designed to kind of simulate that sensation of being in outer space, complete with a space elevator that transports guests from Epcot to the space station. Now, what's really cool about this space elevator, um, if any of you older people that are watching maybe had uh, done Flight to the Moon or Mission to Mars, uh, that will feel very familiar because you have screens um, or portal uh, portholes uh, on the top and the bottom, so you can see where you're going, where you're going, and where you've come from. And same with uh, when you're returning to Earth, uh, just in reverse. Once inside, the restaurant features a space-themed atmosphere, including large windows displaying panoramic views of Earth. The interior is designed to resemble a space station with attention to detail and decor to enhance the immersive experience. So as we we're about to get ready to head into the space elevator, you saw our ticket to the Centauri Space Station. Now for all you Epcot fans, especially old Epcot fans, that name might sound familiar. Well, on the old attraction Horizons, that was actually the name of the space station that you would visit and also you could pick as one of your special endings. Now we're going to be doing something here that I really haven't seen before here on YouTube. Uh, yeah. in, as I explained before, inside the space elevator has two portholes, one facing down and one facing up. We're going to show both of these views at the same time simultaneously. Uh, I noticed uh, as we were recording, uh, the one of the uh, screens was kind of off-center, so uh, not much we can really do about that. But uh, sit back and enjoy our trip up to the Centauri Space Station. Just like four people in. This is our wine cellar with two different things. I mean, 
here we are at Space 220. Um, probably you already saw the video of us coming on in. We're seated here opposite the big windows that actually project uh, things like asteroids since we're about 220 I see, I miles up. I do see a spaceship. Well, yeah, we're, we are 220 miles above Florida right now, which is why it's called Space 220. And it was a really fast trip up here like yep. it didn't it didn't feel like it took very long at all no it traveled about 10,000 miles an hour uh, all the way up via the space elevator but here we are uh, we started off I got myself the illumination and this is the up all night now you ready to give it a give it a whirl <laughs> I'll uh, put up on the screen what's actually included in both uh, these drinks right now since I don't know it off the top of my head <laughs> all right Yes. Ooh, there's nice bulba in this one. Mm. You needed your morning coffee, but wanted some alcohol as well. This is the way to go. <laughs> Very fruity. Um, the balls almost have like that pineapple. I think that did say it was pineapple. Yeah. Switch. Okay. Switch a root. <laughs> Very, very pretty. Ooh, that is good. And this one comes with a little bar of astronaut ice cream. And this is the real ice cream that they eat. Anne Marie. Why would NASA lie to me? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so for our appetizers, um, I got the calamari. I got the, it's called like a burrata, but it's kind of like bruschetta. Bruschetta. That's what it. That's what it Fair. Uh, and then for our appetizers, oh, I got the shuttle. Uh, for uh, not appetizers, for our entrees, we got both got the steak and fritz, uh, but fritas, fritas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I added the jumbo shrimp for mine. Because of course you did. Because of course. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll be back once our appetizers come on out and followed by the entrees. As I stated before, so I got the starry calamari uh, that comes with fried calamari, Italian cherry peppers, spicy marinara, and roasted pepper citrus aioli. Uh, the citrus aioli is fantastic. It's it's very light. It's smooth. Is that what this is? Yeah. Um, the the. The spicy marinara, believe it or not, really not that spicy. Um, but the calamari is cooked perfectly. It's crispy. Um, comes with a little uh, wedge of a lemon. Um, but overall, great, great appetizer. Now for you, Anne Marie, so you, you got the Big Bang burrata. So that's um, burrata, uh, burrata mozzarella, romesco sauce, preserved fruits, and frescata crostini. It was, it was very fresh, like everything, ta oh, sorry. Everything tasted very, very fresh, very like refreshing. Like it wasn't heavy, like a lot of cheese things can be. Like the, the cheese was very, very, almost melt in your mouth. Uh, the sauce, I'm, it almost looks like the same sauce, but this wasn't spicy at all. Uh, the combination of the, the little bread stick they gave you and the, the candy preserves gave a nice crunch and a little bit of an extra flavor to the cheese. It was really, really good. So yeah, we'll be back when our entrees come out and uh, we'll let you know how those are. All right, so we just had our entree of steak and fritz, which was uh, New York strip steak, uh, roasted garlic butter, haricot vert, french fries, and you had the option to add jumbo shrimp, which is of course what I did. Duh, so make it surf and turf. <laughs> Um, steak was amazing. We had it, both of us had it uh, done medium well. Medium rare. Medium rare, excuse me. <laughs> medium rare. We're not savages here, folks. Uh, medium rare. Uh, the garlic butter um, was amazing. It was. It, it was. it just like made the steak kind of just melt in your mouth. Absolutely. Um, and then there was a whole bunch of shoestring tries as well as. Uh, the haricot vert, which looks more like string beans. Yeah, I thought they were string beans. Yeah, I thought they were string beans too. Um, absolutely delicious. Um, definitely, like they were mixed in with the garlic. Amazing. The only thing that I would say would have been better instead of the like 
thousand shoestring fries you got is if there were maybe fewer like steak fries or like a bigger type of potato as opposed to like the skinny French fries because they just kind of tasted like normal Disney French fries. Yeah, I think uh, for French fries, I think definitely fewer would have been definitely better. Thank you so much. Um, but out, outside of that, everything was absolutely delicious. Uh, but actually, the first time I didn't actually finish the fries, it was just so many. Um, for I mean, me, you get your money's worth. Oh, yeah, you definitely do get your money's worth. <laughs> Uh, for me, the jumbo shrimp was were fantastic. There was three jumbo shrimp that were included, um, and it's like an ex, an additional like fifteen dollars. But the the shrimp was very uh, juicy. The the sauce that was in it, um, like it was like a tomato based sauce, um, absolutely delicious. Uh, you have to pull out the shells, obviously, or the tails. You don't care about that. But I don't care about that. Um, overall, really good. Um, for our dessert. We are getting the Blue Planet. Um, that one's going to be uh, chocolate cheesecake, cookie crumbs, vanilla, uh, vanilla uh, truffles, and raspberry. So uh, we'll definitely give you a review once that uh, comes on out. All right. So we just had our Blue Planet. Amazing. What can I say? The cheesecake was very smooth. It was very like, deconstructed cheesecake. Like the uh, cookie crumbs were... Uh, sort of scattered around the plate, so you had to like pick them up with your fork. But it was, I always like those uh, cakes with the domes on them. There was, I always like that. <laughs> um, also, the vanilla truffles were superb, yeah, like melted. melted right in your mouth. The raspberry sauce was a nice compliment. A, a raspberry and chocolate is always nice. Yeah, I like the, the little garnish with the little Mickey ears. Yeah. Uh, or the the whole Mickey face on the yeah. the top with the green kind of like garnish. Um, that was delicious. Uh, and also very, the, the whole presentation was absolutely amazing. I think the only thing that would have put a vote at the top if they had done like green little continents yeah. all over. You'll see on the, in the video, there is a little name plate on there that says happy anniversary. Today is our anniversary. Uh, so they obviously knew that. So that's why on there. <laughs> it was definitely a very nice touch, but Hopefully you guys enjoyed our lovely review of uh, Space 220 here at Epcot. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, will take this, some, some of this information if you guys want to come or if you have a future plan to visit uh, Walt Disney World in the future and you know maybe uh, come visit Space 220. You know, it is out of this world. Hey, see what I did there. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, <laughs> and hit that notification bell for uh, more videos coming to Central Florida Sights and Sounds. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, take care. We'll see you back on planet Earth.